friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's Sunday Reset, we are doing some evening cleaning. It is about 5.45. Michaela and I just got back from shopping for her homecoming dress, our last time ever shopping for a homecoming dress because she is a senior this year. I just cannot even believe it. So uh, we hate it, hate it. We headed up to um, the Natick Mall, if you're familiar with um, the Massachusetts area. The Natick Mall is really nice. So we headed up there, I almost said it again, and uh, found her dress at Windsor. Do you guys remember shopping at Windsor when you were younger? I'm a product of the 90s. Um, I graduated high school in 2002. Uh, and that's where we went for our dresses. So anyway, it is a gorgeous fall evening. It's like 60 degrees outside. I'm about to open these windows and freeze us out in here. Um, I'm gonna take you outside and show you the colors. It's just absolutely stunning today. Danny is going to be picking up pizza so I don't even have to cook, which is fantastic. It, is a, it has been a long day. Um, I can't even talk. And it's just a matter of getting the house clean. The boys are working on getting some stuff out from the basement, taking it out to the car because they're that stuff's gonna go to the dump. Um, so if you're hearing a lot of noise in the background, that's because kids are playing outside. The door is open. Um, they're like bringing stuff back and forth from the basement. Um, I've got laundry going, we've got a mess, I've got piles of stuff everywhere, so we're just gonna be cleaning. Today, I was feeling like overwhelmed by my decor, like between the fall decor and the Halloween decor and like the stuff, I'm just feeling like overwhelmed by it. So I wanna try to clean as much as I can because we still have like weeks before Halloween. So, um, and we have a Halloween party on the 26th. So hopefully we can, like, I can hang on to the decor until then because we still have a Halloween party and my kids still love it. So that is what we're gonna do. And I promised Ryan that we would watch Lord of the Rings, the second one, because we watched Lord of the Rings, the first one last night. Fun fact um, about me, I am a huge nerd. I love fantasy, love fairies and wizards and all of that stuff, so love it. I did just make myself a little margarita to get me through my evening cleaning. This, my mouth is watering talking about it. I have shown this on my channel before. This is my favorite and easiest margarita I've ever made. It is cran mango juice uh, with like, I don't know, maybe half a jigger of um, lime juice. Uh, I would say two ounces or so of tequila, white um, tequila, silver tequila. And uh, I would say about a jigger, an ounce or so of triple sec. Um, that's it. And then you just kind of mix it up, put it over ice. And it's so good. So good. So I got that. Got both my headphones in. We're about to turn on something, maybe some Post Malone. And we're going to get to cleaning. So if you guys have to get some stuff done, today's the day. Let's do it together. Find something that motivates you and let's get some stuff done. I'm so glad you guys are here. Let's get started. One thing I always have a ton to do on the weekend is laundry. With a family of seven, you can imagine there's always laundry to be done. For example, I was going to flip over the laundry now and the basket on top of the dryer was full of my daughter's clothes. The laundry, uh, the dryer was full of my little boy's clothes and there was already clothes in the washing machine so there's always just so much laundry to be done and that's okay we try really hard to have everybody kind of do their own except for the little boys i don't have a problem doing their laundry when i'm doing my own and everything so just going to go ahead and get these things flipped i'll fold them all on my bed and luckily i was actually able to get through all of the laundry this day except for sheets which meant i could get those done the following day
that it seems a little odd that my washer and dryer are on the wrong sides here in the laundry room and that's because they vent onto our front porch and I didn't want the dryer vent to be right next to the front door so we did have to swap them and that's okay it works just fine we I've gotten used to it after a couple of years now but they are backwards so yes I recognize and acknowledge that I actually really enjoy folding laundry. I find it to be very therapeutic and a nice way to just kind of relax my mind, especially if I'm listening to a podcast or a YouTube video. I feel like I can just really focus on what I'm doing and what I'm listening to and just relax while I fold. Uh, you're going to notice that my kitty cat lion right there is laying on a blanket. That is a heated blanket. It has been so chilly lately that I've had the heated blanket out to warm up my side of the bed before I get in just because I struggle with my body temperature regulation and sometimes I can feel really, really cold. So lion is enjoying the fact that I'm not in the bed right now and he gets to spread out on that really warm blanket at one point in the day I think there were three cats laying on that blanket maybe that's a sign that it's actually time to turn on the heater but I just can't do it yet Moving out into my dining room, I had my son Ronan's clothes out here, so I'm just going to go ahead and hang those up as well. You'll find me folding laundry pretty much anywhere, <laughs> but I try really hard to get it put away at the same time. I really do not enjoy having mounds of laundry piled up everywhere, so I try really hard to get it put away. Doesn't always happen though, going to be honest, sometimes there's piles. I'm also going to take a second to go through the other piles here on the table, just things that I had collected throughout the week that needed to be sorted, thrown away, filed, whatever needed to happen. I needed to just work through them. So that's what we're going to do now and get this all organized.
The weather was so nice this evening. It was great to have the windows open and being able to have that breeze blowing from the front of the house to the back of the house. It's just been so nice. Last night, it did get pretty cold. I think it got down to close to freezing, which is kind of crazy considering it's only October, but I have a feeling it's going to be a chilly winter. We've had such a beautiful and mild fall. I have a feeling we're just it's just amping up and we're probably going to have a really cold winter. I've read that the Farmer's Almanac is calling for a snowy winter. That would be nice. I sure do love a good snow day. I know it extends our school year, but there is nothing better than waking up to an all white winter wonderland, knowing that you can stay in your cozy pajamas and you don't have to go anywhere. While I was cleaning the dining room table, I realized that our chandelier needed to be dusted off. This is actually from Amazon, you guys. I snagged this for less than $100 while we were building our house. It's obviously not, you know, super fancy, but I needed something smallish. The one I wanted from Pottery Barn was too big. And again, I didn't really want to spend all of that money. So I was able to find a smaller, more affordable option on Amazon. I love it. I'll link it for you down below. Moving into the kitchen, I'm just going to take a second to break down my grocery bags. These are the ones I use when I am not having our groceries delivered. Normally I have our groceries delivered and um, that I get asked a lot about how I get them delivered in paper bags and that's just how my local store does it. It's not something I select, so I'm not really sure what to tell you, but it is nice. But when I shop with my, you know, if I go into the store, these are the bags that I bring. So just going to break these down so I can get them put back into my car. Then we're going to go ahead and get the kitchen cleaned up. Danny had just gotten home with the pizza. So you're going to see the kids coming into the kitchen to get plates and cups, and then they're going to eat. And then it's going to be time for us to watch Lord of the Rings. And I'll be back to finish up the cleaning. At this point, dinner is done and everybody is helping to clean up. I'm just going to load up the dishwasher really quickly and get those uh, done and put away and get the dishwasher running. And my house is a hustle bustle at this point, just trying to get all of those things taken care of so we can sit down and enjoy the movie.
last video I showed you that pumpkin cake that I made it took us about a week to nail the whole thing so I'm gonna go ahead and soak that here in the sink so that we can wash it because it had lived in my refrigerator so it got nice and caked on there so we're gonna soak that in some super hot water and some uh, dish soap. I also, when I was doing the dish soap, realized it was covered in soap and also needed to be replenished. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do now. This is actually a pump from Target. I bought it in, I think the bathroom section and I just like it. I think it looks nice. It's decorative. Uh, and I just keep it up there on the counter and I just like I said, I think it looks nice, looks better than, you know, having the actual soap up there. Uh, but there would be nothing wrong with having the soap up there either. <laughs> The last thing I'm going to do is take a quick second to wipe down the kitchen. Then I'm going to go take my contacts out, put my glasses on, take off my shoes and snuggle up with my boys for a while to watch the movie. We only got through about half. Uh, those movies are super long if you haven't seen them before. <laughs> They're about three hours a piece. The night before we watched the entire first one, Fellowship of the Ring, and we made it through about half of the two towers last night and we'll try to finish up the other half tonight but it's so fun my youngest is nine he just recently turned nine and i am a huge lord of the rings fan lord of the rings game of thrones you know anything like that that time period fantasy i love it and it's fun to watch them for the first time with my little boys my older kiddos have seen them with me before but it's really fun and he was so incredibly fascinated with Gollum. he just wanted to know all of what Gollum was going to do now that I'm done cleaning up the kitchen, I'm going to quickly, I lied to you, that's not the last thing I was going to do before we watch the movie. The last thing I'm going to do is flip over the laundry and have the boys put their laundry away so that we can sit down and have that done. And then we'll come back to cleaning when we're done. I don't have a problem folding their clothes and getting their clothes sorted. Like I said, I actually find this to be very therapeutic. So I'm just going to go ahead and fold this last load and get them to put their clothes away. I mentioned before that when I do the laundry and I find their uniforms, like in this load, my son Ronan, his cross country uniform is in here as well as Griffin's pink um, October breast cancer awareness socks for his football games. I always will hang those in our front closet by our front door where we keep coats and things just so that it's easy to find the uniforms uh, because 
If I don't, if I put them in a closet, they are so easy to get lost. Okay, it's much later now. I just finished watching the movie with the boys. Well, we finished watching the first half anyway. They are upstairs in bed now. We've did our whole nighttime routine, and now I'm coming out to clean up my car. This is definitely something I could have let go and done it a different day, but I wanted to get it done before the start of the week. We live in this car during the week. I literally use it for my office a lot of days to work while the kids are at practice and we had done shopping and it had just been quite a week in the car. So I'm grabbing our little handheld shop vac here and I'm going to just vacuum it out really quickly, get out all the trash, any clothes. Um, you know, there's always like sweatshirts and uh, empty to go coffee mugs, car coffee cups, that kind of thing and get it all cleaned up. So we're ready to go for the new week. I recently put out a Sunday reset talking about all the things that are non-negotiables that I try to get finished on the weekend, including cleaning out my car, going through backpacks, redoing our schedules, updating our calendar, meal planning, and ordering groceries, and of course, laundry. These are all non-negotiables that have to happen on the weekend. I try throughout the week to do what I can, but I don't mind you know, having a list, getting it done on the weekend. I very rarely will sit down and you know do nothing on the weekend. I'll do that for maybe a half an hour to an hour, read my book, something like that, or watch a movie with the kids. But I don't mind having a to-do list on the weekend and feeling like it's a productive time where I'm able to get things done. So I don't mind if I save some things for that. But I love having a clean car. I Like I said, I live in here during the week. So taking the 15 to 20 minutes that it takes to just vacuum it out, get out all the trash is so beneficial for a week of good mental health while I'm in here. After I was done cleaning out the car, it's time for my least favorite chore of the weekend, and that's backpack clean out. I love doing this when nobody else is around because I love to throw things away. <laughs> And a lot of times my kids will try to keep, get me to keep everything. So I keep the things that are important or things that seem like they are, you know, a keepsake. But other than that, I throw it all away. So I'm going through their folders. They, you know, will clean out their mailboxes throughout the week, bring home completed work, that kind of thing. And I had not gone through my middle schooler's backpack. Well, my oldest middle schooler, my seventh grader. Uh, in a few weeks. So he had a lot of stuff in there for me to go through. So that's what I'm doing. Just cleaning those out, making a pile of stuff to go to the recycling, stuff that needed to be signed or completed. Uh, my son Griffin also has his little drum set right there. He is in band. They, they're all, they've all been in band. And uh, just cleaning those out, making sure that everything is in the right spots. They don't have any food left in there. And it's, again, something I like to do when nobody else is around.
the last thing on my to-do list for this weekend Sunday reset was to wipe down the two bathrooms, the one down here and the one in our bedroom. So, oh, sorry about that. My cat is rubbing on the tripod. She always does that. Now it's little Luna. I have a lot of kitty cats, as you've seen. I think the only one we didn't see in today's video was Tallulah, which, nope, there she is. She's coming out of the bathroom. I'm sorry, out of the laundry room. And then the other one in the bathroom is Luna. They just follow me around. They're waiting for me to come sit down so that I can give them their attention for the day. So I'm just scrubbing down the toilet, going to wipe down this front bathroom really quickly. I did end up throwing the towel and the rug into the wash at the end of the day. And when I flipped over the last laundry, our last load, and then, you know, just got this all cleaned up. So that way, whenever somebody comes by or stops by, it's clean. I'm also going to go into my bathroom and wipe down our bathroom. I don't clean the shower because I do that when I'm actually in the shower, but I did wipe down our vanity, our, our mirror, as well as our toilet. And it felt really good to have all of these things checked off before we started the new week. And this, my friends, is going to bring us to the end of this week's Sunday Reset. Hopefully you found some motivation to tackle some things on your list, no matter what time of day it is. Even if it's late at night and that's the only time you can get to it, that's okay. Gotta do what you gotta do. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. It really does help the YouTube algorithm for new people to find the channel and to let YouTube know that other people might enjoy this as well. And if you aren't subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe and come back for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a beautiful week, my friends. See you soon. Mm -hmm.